supporting Brooklyn. Uncle B, Brooklyn. The Brook. Definitely can't see which one he is, but he's out there. The <laughs> Ruffle. Selena Gomez and Brooklyn Beckham's wife, Nicola Peltz, are kicking off 2023 by giving us ultimate bestie goals with their constant group hug photos shared on their social media accounts. We're not in the least bit jealous. Neither is Nicola Peltz's husband, Brooklyn. He is actually happy Selena is a family friend. She's such a sweet girl. Oh! Um, she's I love a very, it. very sweet girl, obviously very talented. And, you know, I, I love when my wife makes new friends, especially like really great friends. And, you know, we all get along. So, um. During one of his recent appearances on The Jennifer Hudson Show, Beckham discussed his wife's growing friendship with Gomez. The 24-year-old media personality expressed his gratitude for being able to maintain a close relationship with the 30-year-old singer, adding that his wife is extremely fond of the Calm Down singer. The former photographer, who also showed off one of his new tattoos, has been spotted in photos with the only Murders in the Building star in the recent past. Despite their recent marriage, Peltz Beckham and Brooklyn started dating rumors at the end of 2022 while frolicking around the world with everyone's favorite, Selena Gomez. The Peltz Beckhams also got matching tattoos, which is a well-known expression of love for the couple. On the other hand, Gomez fueled rumors by captioning one of their Instagram photos of their yachting trip, fine, call us a throuple. The eldest son of former England footballer David Beckham and English singer-turned-fashion influencer Victoria Beckham described Selena Gomez as a very sweet girl. During an appearance on The Jennifer Hudson Show, Brooklyn Beckham discussed his and his wife Nicola Peltz Beckham's friendship with the Golden Globe nominee. He continued by praising Gomez for being clearly very talented. The English media personality and former model then expressed his delight at being able to broaden his social circle. I love when my wife makes new friends, especially really great friends. You know, we all get along. His 28-year-old wife, on the other hand, previously spoke to Cosmopolitan UK and revealed how she and Gomez first met. I had met her once in passing a few years ago, and then we all went to this event in September, the Academy Gala. We just clicked and had the best time. The youth and Oregon actress went on to praise her friend's personality, saying she had become a valuable source of support over the years. Peltz even expressed her gratitude for having the Love You Like a Love Song hitmaker as a close friend, who always has kept her spirits up. Selena and Nicola have both been in the news recently for their growing bond. However, the two appear to have formed a friendship bond and aren't afraid to show the world how close they are. In fact, they've started to flaunt it regularly. Following a New Year's Eve beach party, the pair has been regularly expressing their friendship by posting a series of lovely pictures. Peltz's husband Brooklyn is also featured in some of the photos. It's unclear how long these lovely ladies have known each other. According to their interaction in a TikTok video and matching pink pajamas at a sleepover, it appears that they have known each other for a while. Brooklyn Beckham has also shared photos of their antics on his Instagram, including photos from New Year's Eve. Those were not even shared on either woman's social media. Fortunately for the Lose You To Love Me singer, she has appeared as a third wheel so often that she is now a member of an illustrious throuple. Brooklyn and his wife should really feel special for being Selena's friends. After all, she barely makes friends and doesn't hesitate to call it quits if she realizes you're not being helpful. The American singer has been in the headlines since the release of her documentary, Selena Gomez, My Mind and Me on Apple TV+. The documentary reportedly covers the years from 2016 to 2022 of the singer's life. The film also covers how Gomez struggles with her physical, as well as mental health, along with lupus and depression. In the documentary, the singer's relationship with her closest friends was also shown, including Raquel Stevens. However, her friendship with Stevens got mixed reactions from her fans as they labeled Stevens toxic because of her behavior in some parts of the documentary. On some particular occasions, her behavior was allegedly very controlling and passive-aggressive towards Gomez. For instance, when they were on a trip to Kenya and the Wolves singer was finally having a good time and relaxing, Stevens made her remember that this was just a holiday and not her reality. It can be speculated that it was a nice gesture, but it is also somewhat toxic on her level. In another incident, Gomez didn't want to go to a birthday party as she had just returned from London and had a shoot the next day. Stevens did not respond to this statement. Selena questioned her friend, do you think that I'm complaining about my job? Stevens responded, yeah, you sounded like you were. A few months ago, however, Selena reportedly took a shot at Stevens in her TikTok video. In the video, 
Gomez and her friend were recording themselves in a filter. Stevens also popped her head in the filter and said, Oh, this is cute. The American singer immediately told her that she did not ask her to be a part of this video, so Stevens left. The video was most probably meant as a joke, but the fans in Selena Gomez's comment sections went wild. Another friend of Selena that the Beckhams might have replaced is Francia Raisa. Francia has been friends with Selena for over a decade. She even donated the American singer a kidney back in 2017. This is where the interesting part comes in. Although Gomez's documentary covered her life from the year 2016, there was still not a single mention of Raisa in it. This clearly indicates that things have not been too good between them. Furthermore, she even mentioned in an interview that Taylor Swift is her only friend in the industry. Gomez said, My only friend in the industry really is Taylor Swift, so I remember feeling like I didn't belong. Since hearing this statement, Raisa has unfollowed Gomez on Twitter, and the two reportedly have not been in contact. So yeah, Brooklyn and his wife may be friends with the singer now, but they sure shouldn't cross her path if they hope the friendship lasts. And that's it from us today. Until next time, bye.